What's up everybody? I am getting ready to finish this outdoor kitchen and before I start those videos I wanted to talk to you about some of the most important things that you need to consider before you start actually building your oven. To hopefully help you avoid making costly mistakes, let's talk about five of what I think are the most important things to consider before you start building your oven. Number one, how big is your pizza oven? Bigger isn't always better in this case because if you're a restaurant owner, yes, you're going to need the extra space because you go through a lot of volume of food. But if you're a homeowner, the trade-off might not be so, uh, so beneficial in that regard. First, the larger your oven is, the longer it takes to heat up. And second, the longer it takes to heat up, the more firewood you're going to need to get it up to that temperature that you're looking for. If I may, I would like to share my personal experience and my opinion about the size of this oven. Now, this is a 40-inch oven, uh, and I find it to be perfect for what I need. It allows me to put three pizzas in at the same time if I wanted to do that. Uh, and it also allows me to put other things in there without a problem, including having the fire on at the same time. Uh, I personally would not go any smaller than 36 inches. I feel like smaller than that and you can be limiting yourself. You never really know what you want to do once you have a brick oven and you start experimenting. And if you have a small oven, then you're going to be limited. You may not be able to do some of the things that you want to try out. Uh, also, as far as uh, the money goes, I don't think you're really saving that much with a smaller oven. The savings would be minimal. So don't look at it don't take it from a financial perspective. Think about the size of your oven based on your needs and perhaps your future needs. Another thing to consider is the overall height of your pizza oven dome. This is important because the height is going to affect how it heats up. Now, if you've seen my videos, you know that I used a tool called the indispensable tool, which is right here. Now, this tool is great because it allowed me to make a perfectly round dome, but when your diameter gets larger, this arm here is going to get longer, which means that it's going to raise the overall height of your pizza oven. Now, there comes a point where your oven will be too high and it will affect how it heats up and how, how effective it is in cooking food, including pizza. Number three is the oven floor height. Now this is super important because if you're going to be the one making the pizzas and, and cooking, you want to be comfortable when you're doing it. Now, if you look here, uh, it appears to be a little high and that's because it is. And this is one of my mistakes that I made when I built this oven. Now, it's not terrible. I'm five foot 11, so I don't mind it, but uh, my wife is a lot shorter than me. So if she was going to be making something in here, it's a little bit of a, a, a little bit tall for her. So let's check it out. Fifty-three and a half inches. So uh, that is definitely taller than most pizza ovens out there. Let me explain first how I made this mistake, so that way you don't make the same mistake that I did. I thought that having an oven where I wouldn't have to bend down to see what's going on inside would be the best height. So I can actually look at my oven, not bend, and see exactly what's going on. But that is definitely not the right way to figure out your oven height. Let me show you what I think is a safer way to avoid making the mistake that I made. Get yourself a broom handle or uh, if you already have one, a pizza peel like this and, and see what feels comfortable when you're holding it. Now, this is where I'm at right now with my oven. Now, notice that this hand is pretty high uh, and this elbow is a little bit higher. This is not the most comfortable position it would have been a lot more comfortable had I lowered the oven to here. Because what happens? This hand right here is a lot lower and this elbow is lower. So if you take, check it out, this is where I'm at, at the proper height for me. And this is where I'm at, at the current height, which is way too high. So definitely give it a test before you start designing and then building. Now, the fourth thing that I want to talk to you about is how big should your base be? Now, that depends on the size of your oven, but don't be fooled because the size of your oven is going to actually be a lot larger than you think it is because you, if you want a 40 inch diameter, like mine, for example, you have to also take into consideration how thick the fire brick is, how much insulation you're going to have, your rendering layer, and if you're going to be putting any stone or something on the outside as a decorative touch. 
all of that takes up space. So when you're figuring out how big the, 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 your space, your, your base should be, you need to consider all of that. Now, I made a mistake because if you uh, watched all my videos, you'll see that I actually extended the front of my oven so that way I would be able to fit my 40 inch diameter. But you should consider all of these things before you start designing because if your base is too small, you're gonna end up building yourself an oven that was smaller than it was intended to be. The last thing that I'm going to be covering in this video is how big should the oven opening be? Uh, that's an important question because if it's too big, it won't hold enough heat. The heat will escape and it won't heat up properly. And if it's too small, it also won't fire up properly. So it's definitely something you shouldn't take lightly. Do your research as well. I will share with you what I've learned and what my experience is here. Now to calculate the height of your opening, most of the information online will suggest that you should have a 60 to 63 percent um, uh, height compared in comparison to your interior dome. So if your dome is 20 inches tall, uh, you should be around 12 inches high at the center here. It, it doesn't mean that you have to keep it straight. It should be curved, but the, the height, the highest part should be around 12 inches. Now, as far as the width goes, the smaller your oven, the narrower it should be. From what I've seen, general, the general rule of thumb as far as how wide the opening should be. Um, a larger oven, a 42 inch oven to a 48 inch oven should not exceed 20 inches, okay? 19 inches, 20 inches will work. Um, if you go smaller, then they say somewhere between 17 and 18 inches. Do your research. If I can find something that I trust, I will link it in the description and you can check that site out as a source of information. But generally, if you're building a 40 inch oven, this one here is 18 inches wide. It's worked well. I could have gone to 19. I think that would be fine also. Uh, bigger than that, I probably wouldn't have done because uh, it is only 40 inches. But uh, if you're going bigger than 42 inches, you could do 19 or 20. So, at least that's what most of these websites are saying. So uh, think about that. And also remember the height. The height of your dome uh, is very important in determining the height of the arch here. By the way, if you're building a supersized oven, uh, definitely do more research because the rules aren't the same for these bigger ovens. I can tell you that uh, as the oven gets bigger, it doesn't necessarily mean that the opening continues to grow in size. It doesn't. So there is like a max opening size for, for an oven. Uh, regardless of how big the actual dome is. So just do your research if you're going really big because I don't have that much knowledge with, with ovens like that. I hope you found this information helpful. If you have any questions that I didn't cover, put them in the comments and I will do my best to get back to you. Uh, if you're new here, please think about subscribing and hit that like button. It really does help my channel. Uh, and if you are interested in building anything that you see here, there are videos for all of it. I will link all of that in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I hope everyone is doing well and I will see you in the next one.